What's up everyone, Aubrey Trades here with a morning trade recap. Pretty, uh, eh, pretty slow day. For me, ending the morning, $26.88 up. Uh, not, not terrible. Uh, not the best either. Completely fumbled a lot. Uh, Sybil having a really nice bounce here that I just can't bring myself to participate in. Because it seems pretty heavy. Um, I played... RCAT and TGGI this morning. Um, a little frustrated. I tried, I put in my buy order at what ended up being the ultimate bottom, but I didn't get filled. It was really annoying. So I ended up having to, to move the order up like all the way to 9 3. But I was proud because I didn't like, I didn't keep moving it up when it hit the twos. I just let it sit here at 19 3. Um, and then it eventually came down, I got filled, and then I sold at 19.6, even though uh, this did hit 208. It's all right. It seemed a little heavy, so I got out. I just wanted to get, figured I'd get the safe win. Um, otherwise, you know, risk this getting, going against me. And I just, you know, I'm trying to be ultra, ultra, ultra conservative. Um, this, you know, didn't look like it had those kind of legs. I probably would have gotten scared out here in this red pull. So that's okay. Another thing I did, I uh, was a little disappointed in was uh, three <clears throat> RCAT here on the dip and rip setup, but ended up selling at 393 when this was, um, you know, when this was looking red on the five minute candle, uh, which wasn't sure if it was going to continue. So I cut early for a measly 80 cent gain when, I don't know, I, like, I, I should have just given it more time, uh, especially. Especially even following my one minute rules where, um, you know, I'm really looking to exit a position once we start crossing underneath this moving average line. You know, even if I had followed those rules, I would have gotten myself out in the fours. So I would have made a few more cents a share. But, but I also like, I want to have myself keep a piece um, to swing for these potential multi-day runners i mean and i did it right i was sized in 16 shares for a risk on low a day and and i i sold i sold all 16 shares like an idiot um when you know maybe could have sold eight shares you know uh, if i if i was feeling less than great about this uh, chart and let it develop and then maybe sold the rest here at the 414s 413s area now I'm not sure because we're kind of crossing underneath. It looks like this was a doji on the five minute chart. Uh, so I'm not really sure what happens, but you know, we, we're still well within bounds. This next five minute um, candle could easily just continue upward, but it's choppy. So a little disappointed in myself for that. And I'm making this, uh, <laughs> I'm making this video so I can keep myself from making degenerate trades like I want to. Uh, GTOR is a nice OTC winner. AEHR is looking pretty good now. Let's go over there. This is another one that I might want to take for a swing. This is back over VWAP. We got a higher low. We're kind of bouncing a little bit. So if I wanted to take, uh, let's see, we're at 16 and the low is 1535. So that would be if I wanted to do $5 risk with 70 cents to share. That's about seven shares that I could take. Mm, blah, 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 blah. Why not? Two, two, two. And we'll put our hard stop here at. Okay, and AEHR is a blue sky chart. So, meaning if you go to the daily chart, um, we're at all time highs, you know? And you can see I have tried trading this a bunch of times incorrectly, sometimes correctly. But, you know, anyway, the point of this is going to be for the swing. Friday had this really great big volume day. I think this could really um, continue on. Okay, see, when I put all the trades here and I start doing this, like, multi-week view, it starts looking really messy. Look at all this. Completely, yeah, completely blue skies. So, we'll see where this goes. Oh, I like it. So, yeah. My intent, I'm putting it in the camera. My intent is going to be 
to swing this, uh, provided my low of day stop doesn't get hit. If it gets hit, if it gets hit, oh well. You know, it's five dollar risk. It's not a big deal. So there we go. Our cat had this. Okay, look at our cat with this big pole over here. Let's see what's going on. Ooh, it's getting attacked a little bit here around VWAP. 388, low a day is still 360. I could do 20 cent spread if I wanted to do $5 risk and get 25 sh shares. We'll do 90, we'll do 30 cents to be safe. That's still 16 shares again. All right, look at that exact 390 fill and create closing order with stop, send it, and we'll just let it ride. I still got 30 minutes until I hit my walk away and call it time. So I got my hard stop in place. We're gonna do this. This is gonna function as my morning recap though. And then I'll check back in. We'll see how these uh, how these close the day if I get stopped or not. But these are going to be my two swing ideas for uh, bigger momentum style plays. Uh, da -da -da. Uh, G tour. My goodness. My greatest regret was not taking the G tour trade. So dumb. I'll take a look at it here. I, I hesitated. I saw this trend break here, and I was like, mm, "This could be pretty good. This could be pretty good." Uh, but it just like wasn't, it just wasn't moving terribly fast. Like you don't see any screaming obvious signals here on the level two. Like you know, sure you have a you have a good uh, buyer here at sixteen supporting the stock, um, but you know nothing that screams obviousness to me. Even this was a good. It was a good opportunity, but oh well. No harm, no foul. Easy come, easy go. I will be there for the panic dip buy when it wants to come through. Toner. Ah, oh, toner's dropping pretty good here. Get. Uh, let's see how much panic we can get. That might be a good dip buy opportunity as well. AEHR looks like it's working pretty decent. And I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to touch it. I'm going to let them swing. So there we go. I feel like I should do this more often. Um, record my recap like a little earlier before I call it quits. That way I can kind of talk myself through these plans too and just reiterate what the plan is and... Uh, force myself to be a cannibal because I'm saying it on camera to you. Okay. Anyway, I think that might, uh, I think that might be it. Still kind of hanging around here. This doesn't look too good. Um, but it is what it is. Also doesn't look too good. Spy is kind of nasty out there today. Down about a percent. It looks like, oh, we'll see. This is annoying though. Okay, that's it for my morning trade recap. Thanks so much for watching. If you got value out of this video, please hit that like button. Helps out with the YouTube algorithm. Consider subscribing and leave me a comment down below. Let me know what other type of content you want to see out of this channel. I will be back later for a uh, you know momentum market recap, like afternoon trade recap thing. So be uh, take it easy. Good luck out there. In the meantime, I'll see you in the next video.